Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode. I'm Lee, and uh, enjoy. Alright everyone, as you can see, I'm outside today, but that's okay. Hopefully the sound won't be too bad. Alright, today we've got some uh, fun stuff we're talking about. Yeah. Alright, so first off, I know many of you know that I'm deployed. And this is uh, an extremely difficult, very rough location. Okay. So my awesome wife, she decided to come through to the rescue and send me a care package. Now I haven't gone through it yet because I wanted to go through it with all of you so we can find out together what's in the box. Oh, you were the box. What was in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Yeah, so there's a lot of damn tape on this thing. All right, so you can see she put it inside of a uh, Bath and Body Works box. They have some great stuff. So let's see what we got inside here. All right, we got bubble wrap, which is probably the greatest gift of all time. All right, looks like we got a, a Valentine's Day card. I think I promised her that I was going to read this on Valentine's Day, so I will not open this today. All right, we got some goldfish. Oh boy, that's going to be delicious. We got some goldfish. We got, hell yeah, we got my hat. That's that's definitely getting worn today. All right, what else we got here? We got a we got a frog. This says hug me. And that's really cute, actually. So that's awesome. M&Ms. I look like I have a little bit to last a while. Oh my gosh, we got, is this cookies? Oh yeah, we got cookies in here. We got my neck pillow. I This will come in handy when I want to sleep. Whole box of chocolate. Wow, I am really going to have to owe her for this. Oh, she sent me some Bath and Body Works stuff, so that's cool, so I can smell nice. So I got some, uh, looks like hand sanitizer. Cool, so I can stay sanitized. Star Wars Mad Libs. I'm going to have to do a whole video about this. That's what's going to happen. All right, what else we got? We got, uh, oh, we got some boxers. Oh, gosh, we got more shorts. Gym shorts, and it looks like a shirt. Cool, can never do without that. I got another shirt. All right, so we got Peak to Peak for California. Got to get that Cali love. California! Looks like I also got some chocolate puppy. It's a lot like our uh, dog, Holly, or Holly Bear, as we call her. All right, that looks, that looks like it. All right, so we just went through the box. It's some great stuff. I am definitely gonna have to get her something really nice. I kind of did, actually, but uh, she doesn't need to know that. Okay, so something else I wanted to talk to you guys about today is, as we all know, pretty much between now and May, there's nothing good. Coming in theaters, it's just, it's a horrible time. So I think May 1st is the start of our summer movie cycle. We got, like, the Avengers coming out that day and, like, a few other things. So between now and then, we're getting a lot of trailers for movies that are coming out that we can look forward to. This is the first time these trailers are coming out. Ted 2 and Fantastic 4, even though the 4 is, like, in the middle of the word. So I'm sure everyone's making that joke, so what the hell? Why not me? Don't do that. I'm not kidding. So really all I have to say about Ted 2 looks okay, I guess. I don't know. I thought the first one was funny, but I thought it was one of those things that really, you do once, you don't need to do it again. Okay, so the other big trailer is for the Fantastic Four. I actually thought this was pretty good. I thought it was better than the Ant-Man trailer, because really, who the hell cares about Ant-Man? Nobody. That, that's who. However, I know a lot of people are probably going to say this, but they pretty much followed everything in the trailer checklist. All right, for our modern day superhero movie trailer checklist. We got item number one. We have the suspenseful piano, along with a little bit of violin, some other classical instruments, helping to key up that suspense, key up that intrigue. You know danger is afoot here. Checklist item number two. We have this music, this sense of awe and danger coming, and it's overlaid against basically scenery. We got mountains, we got the coast, we have, you know, a city. Item number three. We have our heroes looking concerned. You know what I mean. All right, so we get into item number four here. Widespread destruction. Things are blown up. People are dead. <laughs> Unlike the superhero movies of old, we're not saving kittens from trees here. We're not even saving the city. We're saving the planet. So I need you to go ahead and show that. <laughs> what are we saving from? Who knows? Doesn't, doesn't even matter. We're getting saved. Whole planet. All right, now the fifth item, and probably the most important, you have to have the old man voiceover. How did we get this far? Letting us know how high the stakes are, and what is expected of our heroes here. And there are consequences. Now there's something I thought that was missing from this trailer that most other modern superhero movies do have, and that is the heroes making some kind of wisecrack or a joke at some kind of situation. It doesn't even matter what it is. It just somehow it breaks up the tension, lets you know, hey, serious, we can joke about it. As much as I tease though about this trailer, I actually did thought it looked interesting. I got my attention. is coming and winter is coming 
All right, everyone, that's really all I have today for my video. Just to give a quick update, I am still working on the uh, Harry Potter review for the first book. It's taking me a lot longer than I thought. I actually filmed quite a bit of it, and it turned out it was like an hour. So that'll be interesting to see how much I actually keep of that. I've also read a few other books in the meantime, so I'd like to actually talk about those as well. I know it's kind of weird. Most people talk about movies or games they review, but you know, whatever. I like to think of myself as a classic guy. As always, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, I don't care. Throw your computer. Do what you want. Social media stuff's in the downstairs. You all have a great day. World's greatest word game. That's a pretty big claim to make.